Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Anthony Albanese tweeted, Australia needs more affordable housing and we're getting it built. We're transforming this empty lot into homes for people in need, working with the WA government, for essential workers and for Western Australians at risk of homelessness, it will make a big difference. Sunshine Coast Wildflowers Ironic, considering you've done more than any other government to ensure there is not enough housing for everyone with your obscene destructive immigration program. BDR How many houses are going to all the immigrants you are letting in? Will there be any houses left over for Australian citizens? Just Maggie. Are they for rent or to buy? If they are renting only, essential workers could be subject to rental increases which defeats the purpose. There should be the option to rent to buy. The Glass Pyramid Latest data shows the housing market remains crushed by excessive demand and that factor is directly controlled by your government. Until vacancy rates are at least 3-4% to 4 spare us you're bragging about doing too little too late. Danny Noonan, how can the wealthy function without essential workers being able to afford homes within a reasonable drive? By us making our mates profit and making your house a little bit cheaper, we are making this come true. Schadenfreude and apathy. WA isn't the entirety of Australia. Also, where is the public housing? You know, like the place you grew up in with your mum and gran. Never trot out the disabled mum story again, you've left all disabled people behind, refusing to raise the base rate of DSP. Clara, how are we going to house newcomers to Australia if there is already a housing crisis? Maybe we should house the people who are already here and make sure there are sufficient public amenities for them, then we can make a plan for a big Australia. Microbial Sightings we need a national bank. We need to cut all immigration except for skilled immigration in the areas we actually need until our housing and healthcare systems and infrastructure have caught up to the demands. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.